Hello, vinyl community. H is for one of my favorite bands in the entire world, Hot Tuna. Yes, anybody that knows me knows that I am uh, a Grateful Dead fan and a Hot Tuna fan. Um, oh, Hot Tuna. Where to begin? Let's take a look at the album. This is their third album on uh, Grunt Records, which was an RCA uh, subsidiary at that time. Uh, beautiful car. I have a, a copy of this uh, cover photo in my um, office, which I'm very proud of. And then you see pictures of the band in concert. Yorma Kalkinen on guitar, Jack Cassidy on bass, uh, Mr. Uh, Sammy Piazza on drums and the great Papa John Creech, uh, also from Jefferson Air, playing with Jack and Yorma on fiddle. Um, Betty Cantor were, was one of the engineers, and Pat uh, Maurice Man Ayarachi, who did a lot of the airplane and Hot Tuna and Jefferson Starship albums. It was uh, mixed at the great Wally Hyders and recorded at in um, San Francisco. Um, Betty Cantor being on here is that Betty Boards are very famous. We'll talk about that next week for the G's. David Crosby doing a background vocals on Highway Song and Nikki Buck on a couple of albums on uh, keyboards. So basically Jack and Yorma going into the studio after the first two Tuna albums in 69 and um, 70 were live albums, an acoustic album and an electric album. So this is the first time that they had really done uh, a studio album, as I said. And you got nine cuts on here. I'll read them. True Religion, Highway Song, 99 Year Blues, Sea Child, Keep on Truckin', Water Song, Ode for Billy Dean, Let Us Get Together right down here, and The Sunny Day Strut. So there's the label on Grunt. You can see the Grunt and the album. Uh, Burgers, Hot Tuna, 1971. This came out, I mentioned that. So, uh, great purple sleeve here. Need to get a high quality sleeve for it. Uh, first saw Hot Tuna live in 1973 at the Great Academy of Music. Billy Cobham opened. It was an unbelievable uh, show. They had just come out with the album after this, Phosphorescent Rat. I'm going to go through their albums uh, in a minute. Uh, what else can I say about Yorma and Jack? Uh, they're still going today. Yorma, I believe, is 82. They, they were high school friends, started playing together in 1956 out of Washington, D.C., and soon left for uh, San Francisco. Uh, they, of course, were founding members of Jefferson Airplane, spun off to do blues. They wanted to do acoustic blues. And... Um, so this was that, you know, this was acoustic blues and electric blues, of course. Uh, Yorma wrote, did I mention, wrote six out of the nine songs on here. Uh, there's a Jelly Roll Morton song and a Reverend Gary Davis song and another blues song on here as well. But all the rest were originals. Uh, it's got his, uh, you know, signature acoustic and electrics. Uh, Jack on bass vocals and eyebrows. I love that. Sammy Piazza, I think that one of my favorite hot tuna drummers. They had many, many drummers over the year. Great picture of them in front of the car on the back. Um, turn this light off. I'm getting a little bleed there. There we go. Much better. So, uh, Hot Tuna Live, and I've seen them, you know, many, many times over the years at the Warfield in San Francisco in 1990 for the Paradise Found tour. I've seen them at the Bottom Line, um, uh, seen them up in Connecticut. I, I'm a big, big, as I say, Hot Tuna fan, what can I say? Um, something I haven't done with other people, now this is H, Hot Tuna. Uh, is show some of the other albums from the band. So this was the first album, uh, which is also great. Um, I picked Burgers because it was the first studio album, and it's just, it's one of my faves, I ha you know, what can I say? 
so this was the first one recorded at the a boarding house in New Orleans, all acoustic by uh, Ows, the famous Owsley Stanley, who was the sound man and made LSD for the Grateful Dead. Great uh, cover on the back. This was the cover, kind of a psychedelic picture of Jack and Yorma jamming. Um, and then uh, I believe Margarita Kakonen, uh, who was, I think, one of Yorma's first wives did, did the artwork on this. So that's the first one. Second one, also live, first pull up, then pull down. Um, these were not RCA before, before Grunt. You can see the artwork also from Margarita. I won't go do the gate folds. This was Phosphorescent Rat. So this was the album that was featured uh, in the tour that I saw and is really, really great as well. A lot of great acoustic stuff uh, and Yorma pen songs. First pull up, uh, this is America's Choice, which is very electric. People love this song when, when they went electric. Um, kind of a uh, Tide uh, commercial. You know, this, this was 75, I believe, um, when this came out. Uh, and you know, Rock was trying to get commercial. All right, moving on, uh, the live, another live album. You see, they have many, many live albums. They were known as a live act. Sometimes they would play six hours. Uh, this is a double dose. It was recorded in 78. Um, some pictures of the band again. And a couple solo efforts. Qua, an excellent solo album, again, with that same Margarita Kokonen artwork that Yorma did. Jack produced it for him, so they worked together. Um... And a guy named Tom Hobson did, did some of the vocals. Great Police Dog Blues on there. And Papa John's first solo album that also has uh, Jerry Garcia on it. Um, Hot Tuna. A lot of other people. I think Grace uh, was on this, I think. Uh, Paul Kantner, rhythm guitar. Joey Covington, drummer. Greg Rowley from Santana. It's just an all-star. Mick Gillette uh, from Tower Power. Um, John Cipollina from Quicksilver, Greg Adams also from uh, Tower of Power. So it was a uh, Nick Buck. We talked Carlos Santana plays guitar on one track. So it was a San Francisco uh, tour de force for Papa John. And he was really great. He left. Uh, this was also, he left the band uh, after the Burgers album. So I think that's another reason why I like it. You can say I got my Sharma. If you don't know Yorma, you don't know Jack. Um, that has a picture of them in the back. You can see that. So that's Hot Tuna H. Next we go to G. I think I've wrapped that up. Anything else I want to say about... Uh, I, I would rate this album if I had to rate five stars. Um, it's just one of my faves. I love Water Song. It, it's uh, definitely one of my favorite Hot Tuna songs. Um, if not my favorite, True Religion, 99 Year Blues. Um, I mean, you keep on trucking, you really can't go wrong. It's, it's got one great tuna song after another. Uh, a Fish O' Baby production. Um, oh, let me say how Hot Tuna got their name. All right, so they went to RCA. Um, you know, things were a little looser in the early 70s. They'd already had this big success with... Jefferson Airplane, of course, and they said, we want to be called Hot Shit. This is the story I heard. I read something else online. Um, and RCA said, absolutely not. So I, I think it, the, the partial of the other story may be true. They were playing, I keep on trucking. And when um, Yorma goes to the sign, what's that smell like fish? Oh, baby, I really would like to know. Somebody yelled out, hot tuna. So it stuck. Uh, so that's the uh, the story behind their name. Um, many, many great shows. Hope to see many, many more. A big shout out to Jack, Yorma, all the members of Hot Tuna, past, present, and future. Um, and uh, yeah, that's Burgers. 1971. Uh, get it on vinyl. Spin it. You'll love it. Keep on rocking. We got G next. I think you can tell what G is going to be for. Um, it's two words, and the initials are GD, and they don't stand for Glenn Daly, my father. 
Uh, Happy New Year to all uh, the vinyl lovers out there. It's 2023. So uh, keep on rocking out there and check out Do Dot Dave's. We're going to try to do two reviews a week in 2023. That's, that's the plan. So let's stick to it. And we may have some other uh, cool things coming up as well in 2023. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm, I'm on, um, I promote the channel on um, uh, Twitter, on Instagram. Um, I post the videos, though I haven't gotten a lot of uh, views yet on Rumble uh, as well. Um, and then YouTube, of course. Did I miss anybody? Twitter, Insta. Um, that's and Rumble. That's it on the four platforms right now. Take care. Talk to you soon. Keep on rocking.